Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, The Wingman, and I'm here to bring you and deliver you that sauce. Oh, by the way, let me show you the sauce. So I get I got different types of sa sauces, uh, you know, that I'm bringing. Uh, you know, usually, you know, for me, I like chicken wings. I like uh, tacos, but most importantly, I love delivering that fire, and my fire is delivering delicious content regarding financial planning, money management, and uh, just overall how to make money into, into the stock, mar stock, stock market. That's that's what my whole channel is about, how to make money in the stock market, how to manage your finances, whether through uh, wealth planning, uh, whether it's through you know crypto, stocks, ETFs, or maybe just r real estate. And so uh, t today's topic, you know, uh, is also this is what we're going to talk about. So what we're going to talk about today is how to get pre-approved for a VA loan. Uh, today, if you are a veteran, whether it's in the Army, uh, if you are in the Navy, Air Force, uh, Marines, I'm going to talk talk to you, uh, talk about how to get pre-approved for a VA loan. And uh, I know that understanding, you know, mortgages, trying to trying to you know, talk to banks, it, it, sometimes it, it can be scary. It can be uh, intimidating sometimes where you may not know uh, all the documentation uh, or, or that's needed to uh, qualify, pre-qualify to, to get a house. Buying a house is a lengthy process, just like trying to buy a car, but it's a lot, a lot harder and a lot longer. So uh, by me being your wingman, I'm going to be with you uh, along the way to help you, guide you to this uh this long and tough process is just trying to buy a house because no matter it being, a, you know, bad times in the stock market and economy, people are still going to gonna need a place to live, to, to buy for their family. And before we even just go, I just want to say uh, for you guys, uh, whether it's the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, uh, thank you for your, thank you for your, your, your services. Uh, and so let's get back to the content. So. Uh, when, you know, how, trying to get a pre-approved for a VA loan, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the VA loan pre-approval documents that you need, understanding what a pre-approval -pre letter means. We're going we're to talk about what are the factors that could affect you getting a pre-approval letter, why the pre why the pre-approval letter, letter is so important. And then we're also going to talk about the best VA loan lenders out there. So, I've done the research that you don't have to do the research because because guess what? I'm uh, your, your wingman and I'm here to help you along the way in the process to give you this fire content. So let's get into this delicious content. So in, in getting pre-approved uh, is the best first step to home ownership. In doing so, you can start to identify how much home you can afford. And so when you're trying to figure out how much home that you, you can afford, uh, it can it, it it can be uh, a little intimidating because a, a lot of the homes that that were let's say homes that about a year a year or two ago that was worth maybe two hundred fifty thousand three hundred thousand are now worth three hundred fifty four hundred thousand. So maybe a year ago you had a plan and enough money saved up for maybe a three hundred thousand dollar house. Now you're looking at a, a house that's maybe. 350, 375, 400,000. So that's a, probably a lot more than you probably even, you know, thought about of when you were trying to sit down for your budget. So the, all this whole process is trying to figure out how much home you, that you can buy or, you know, how much home that you can afford uh, helps to determine your monthly budget and uh, also get, get you on your way into also house hunting, you know, looking for the house, the different neighborhoods, uh, rather, it's through understanding just the uh, educational system, uh, just the, the zoning, and, and and just also just the, the different neighborhoods and just, just the houses in general. Like the, how many, you know, rooms you're looking for, uh, baths, the amenities uh, for the house, and then also HOAs. It's all it's a lot to think about in, in terms of buying a house. So if you're if you're if you currently serve in the military or are a veteran. You may be considering a VA loan. So let's dive into exactly what a pre-approval process could look like for you in, in, in trying to uh, apply for a pre-approved 
uh, letter for your VA loan. So wh what, is, what is needed for your VA loan? So in order to receive the pre-approval letter for your VA loan, you would need to provide certain documentation. So documentation is, is always needed. And so I'll say um, this gives you a better look at your financial health, your credit score, and your debt to income ratio. And the best way I, 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 I give, because uh, I'm not a part of, you know, the uh, I'm not a veteran, I'm not part of the Air Force or anything, but I've been through the process of, of buying a home and it's very extensive. And so, and going through this whole process, yes, uh, the best way is, is to have have a folder, have it have have a have a folder, and then with all all your documents that you need to provide, make sure that you have it stapled. Make sure you have a sticky note where you are writing everything that that is needed, um, and that you you are being organized so that when you sit down with these bank representatives, you are you you have everything already there. You don't have to schedule any type of appointment. So, like for example, it states that you uh, you're gonna need your current and your previous uh, your current and previous employment. So ha have all that down. You uh, you would have you're gonna need to present like your gross, your pre-tax monthly income. Bring your uh your your pay statements on a you know a bi-weekly basis, on a monthly basis. Staple it. Make sure you have it organized on your sticky note. And then also anything in regards to um, like your bank accounts and, and your funds, make sure you have that like on an Excel spreadsheet. I have all this stuff broken down so that uh, everything is all in one place in, in your folder. So that when you give it over to them, they can they they can visually see all these different things, and they don't have to keep act ask you for this and that. And then you are stuck uh, having to schedule another meeting, and then your meeting be, being you know three four hours. It can be more condensed to one or two hours. You have to disclose if you have it, have had any bankrupt bankruptcies or any flow any foreclosures. Um, you have to show what what your debt is looking like in terms of personal debt, student loans, uh, car payments, and then also your certificate eligibility of COE. So, what is what is a COE? I know you're asking that. So, a COE is the first thing you do is when you question for your VA loan certificate of eligibility. So the certificate of eligibility implies that the lenders that you are eligible to apply for the VA loan. So to help improve the, the important early steps in the VA loan process, the VA uh, has launched a new streamlined user-friendly portal on the VA of the of VA.gov where you can request your C, your COE request to restore your, your, entitle, your entitlement, request modifications to your existing COE records, like your name, date, date of birth, branch of service, verify uh, if any active COEs is available. And so basically um, you can go on the va.org website to actually uh, request for your COE or update any type of COEs that you may have. And so um, now, we're going to talk about what what does a pre-approval pre-approval letter mean. A pre-approval letter means that think of the pre-approval letter as your golden golden ticket to your journey to ownership. But why does it carry so much weight? Well, the mortgage banker comes through, goes through all of your, your financial history, uh, cross and T's, dot the I's, and see how much house home that you can afford. And the and the letter shows exactly how much you can borrow from your home. So the best way I can explain it is, is that in, in this type of market, when you're trying to buy a house, cash is king. So a lot, a lot of individuals that you, when you're competing against for a particular home, they, a lot of, a lot of times, especially in Houston, Houston, Texas, uh, trying to buy a home down here is, is, is really hard because a lot of people already have, they, they have the cash on hand to buy it. So when you have this pre-approval letter, you, by having this letter, you know exactly the price range to, to look to, to start your home so that when you sit down and you go through all the different homes that you like this home that have five bedrooms, have pool, has these amenities, that when you sit down in, in the negotiation, it speeds up in the negotiation because it gives confidence on the seller and you as a buyer to know that, hey, I've already went to, have gone through all the, the finance part uh, and there's, there's no wait time. And then you can actually show them and you can start the process a lot more quickly uh, then 
you know, looking for a home, trying to figure things out, and then trying to get the finance. And then, you know, uh, it, it really it really shows that when you when you do it the opposite end, you, you look you, it makes you look like you're, you're unorganized, uh, you're not serious. Uh, and says, and if you run into issues of multiple offer offers on a property, you actually got a serious skin in the game. I just I just said that. So especially in, in, in hot markets like Dallas, Houston, Texas, uh, there's, they're going to receive a lot of offers. A lot of times when you, when they put the house, the house on the market, the house come off the market within maybe three or four days. If that, that's because people have cash on hand. And so it helps for you, for you to stay, com stay competitive when you actually have your pre-approval there. Like, Hey, I went through the pre-approval process. They come through all my financial, uh, uh data. I'm good. I want to buy this house. I want to put my bid uh, in, in the ring for this. So let's talk about what are the factors that may affect your pre-approval process or you for your for you getting uh, pre-approved. So getting a VA, so getting a VA loan is unique in that there are a lot of perks that, that you are afforded for your uh, for your service, like your COE. So your COE is also an important piece to this puzzle because it will dictate a few factors we've named in this blog. So, but one of the perks of having a VA loan is the possibility of having a zero down payment. That is great. You know, I, I had to put down ten thousand dollars. So, thank you. So that's good. So for you guys who are, you know, uh, thank you for your service. Then, so with this VA loan, VA loan, you're able to. One of the perks is basically have a zero down payment, which is awesome. Uh, credit is also an, an important factor in determining your pre-approval letter. And it says that uh, they pull your credit so that see what, what type of financial shape or your financial history that you're in. So in order to have a better understanding of what other pieces come to play, you know, so you have to you have to sit down and understand. So another, another question is is that individual asks, so how, how long is uh, this pre-approval letter good for? So typically a pre-approved pre-approval letter is good for 90 days. A lot can change within 90 days. So a worst case scenario is you don't find a perfect home. You, uh, you can absolutely revisit and have them, like, you know, try to, uh, you know, ex extend the, the clock. And so uh, typically like finding a house, the, the whole paperwork and whatnot and all that, it, it normally does take around 90 days. Honestly, it really take like 90 days to either do house looking, house shopping to find the perfect, perfect one or three houses and then the process of lending and, and all that that normally takes about you know 30 to 60 days so 90 days does help but if you, if you need time you can always go back to your lender to, to uh try to extend the extend the time so what's next so you ready to start your search on to start your pre-approval pre process uh that's extremely exciting so it says you'll be equipped to start searching for your dream home uh and so uh if you have you know so now I went through how to the, the different things that you may need for your pre-approval process for a v, VA loan. Uh, now I'm, I'm going to talk about the uh, the best VA loan uh, mortgage lenders for 2023. So the best uh, VA loan lenders are New New American Funding, Navy. Credit Union Mortgage and PNC Mortgage. So for the new American funding, the bottom line, it has competitive rates and a diverse set of loan terms and products uh, and our, it's a rare combo. So it has a, a fast service uh, that simplifies home, the home building process. Uh, the, the minimum credit score for you to have is 580 to, to 620, 620. And then it says minimal down payment uh, could, could be to 0% to 3.5%. But the one, and it says the new American funding uh, is uh, best for a uh, diverse loan types and terms. Now, one I saw that for you guys that are veterans uh, that you may really like is the, the Navy uh, Federal Credit Union. Always, I always do go for credit unions when, when you're buying a house or uh, for a car because you, you get great rates. Uh, and it says right here, it has a, a 2023 award uh, winning for the highest customer satisfaction, the Navy Credit Union Mortgage. Uh, you, it has high uh, customer satisfaction up to 100% fi financing, more, more, a mortgage with no PMI, r rate match guarantee, has a minimum down payment of 0%, 
uh, a minimum credit score of, of 580 and then has um, all these different type of loans, conventional to VA, jumbo, interest only, fixed rates to 10 to 30. Looks like the Navy Credit Union mortgage is, is the best uh, vendor to go to, to buy a, uh, to get a VA loan. Uh, so take, take your pre-approved uh, letter to get a uh, VA loan uh, with a Navy Credit Union. And then it says uh, PNC in 2023 was best for its diverse loan offerings. Uh, it looks like they are similar to uh, the new American funding. Uh, so I'm not going to go through all those key points. But I'll, I'll let you read it right there. Um, you know, key features, 3% down on no PMI, uh, home equity loans, consider non-traditional credit history. Uh, but looks like the winner is a Navy credit union uh, with, with the no minimum down payment and a high customer satisfaction and then offering the VA loan types. So it's like Navy credit union mortgage. It's the way to go. And so just as a recap, just know that having that pre-approved, uh, getting that pre-approved uh, letter for your VA loan is, it is important. Uh, just make sure that you have your current, your previous, uh, employment information, uh, your, your gross and how much you're making on a monthly basis, uh, do it on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, understand your assets of your, your bank accounts, your funds, make sure you bring, uh, uh all, all of that. So you have that, uh, you know, for your, your, your lender, make sure you, uh, have your, all your assets, your assets. Um, if you had any type of bankruptcies or foreclosures, make sure you, uh, let them know about that. Uh, also have any, any type of, you know, your, your debts, your student loan, car payments, personal debts, make sure you have that in, in your folder. And then also make sure you have your certificate of eligibility, COE, and you can actually get that from va.org. And then make sure you, you once you have that, then you can uh, go to your uh, VA lender to, to buy the, the, the loan for your particular uh, house to, to get a mortgage for your new home. And so also just know, make sure you go with Navy Federal Credit Union to get a great mortgage on a, either uh, your maybe second or third house or your starter home or, or your dreams. And so I want to say, I wish you guys well. Thank you guys for your service. Make sure you get that pre-approved letter and then make sure you work through David Credit Union to, to get your new home and make sure it's affordable rates uh, for your particular home. So hope you guys enjoy this content and you... Yeah, you have a great day. <laughs> Bye.